Hey y'all, I am back with, yes, another setup. Um, just to warn you, you're probably going to get a lot of setups from me because I just like to change things up. It's super fun and it's creative and these are my favorite videos to watch so I'm hoping you don't mind. Um, as you can see, Darcy is out of control chunkster and I have some serious um, overhang here and I will show you why it's a situation. Um, I have a lot of bling bling going on and yeah, I've got my two Colettos. I've, y'all, I have so many Colettos now. Um, and I may have ordered a few more, sorry, these bees are making a lot of noise. I may have ordered a few more on eBay the other night, but let's not talk about that. Let's just, let's just get right to it. So I, this time changed out everything in terms of my look, like my dashboards, all that stuff is different because I got some new scrap of paper and I really wanted to use it. So let's get started. Look how cute. So per usual, I put in some cute scrapbook matching paper um, in these pockets. I have the little um, paper clip from Kate Spade and then just a little Twin Little Stars um, paper clip that I have. Um, this is a Foxy Fix dashboard. They are sold out. I got my hands on this and it's great. I mean, obviously I'm waiting for them to restock so I can buy a million of them, but for now I just have the one and it's working fine. This is a cute little clip that I got from the Target Dollar Spot the other day. And this is an adorable piece of scrapbook paper um, that I cut out and put in the dashboard because I just think she's so cute and whimsical and I love the coloring and yeah, it's just so cute. Makes me want bangs again. On the back of this dashboard, I it's double-sided paper and has feathers on this side, but I put pictures of me and my nephews. I didn't have a good picture of the three of us, but this is my older nephew, Zachary. He's four. This is my baby nephew, Jonathan, but we really just call him Kiki, and he's one, and he's insane. And he's going through a phase, but they are both awesome, and I love them. This is that sheet protector dashboard. You see how I did the quotes there? Um which I just replaced the washi tape. Still have my name sticker on there by Annie Plans Printables. On the back here, I put a little choose happy card and then I put a photo of my whole family. It doesn't include Kiki, my younger nephew, because he wasn't born yet, but too bad. Sorry, Kiki. Um, this is my list book and I replaced it. So my list book used to be this book, which is a field, note, field notes book. This is a Tomoe River paper book that I bought from Amazon, from I think the Tomoko or Toroko shop or something. I love it because the paper is so thin and as a result, you get a lot more pages per book. At least I'm assuming so. I have no idea if that's actually true. Um, I just put a little um, like tab up here that I got from a Japanese bookstore in New York and I want to write lists or to do or something on here but I do not have like the pretty handwriting that all those other girls have so I gotta practice before I like commit to that um so and I have a sticker here from Annie Plans and this is just my lists um I started it with the 13 things mentally strong people don't do again from my previous list book but I have not barely filled in anything else so I have a lot to fill in here just like watercoloring pages whatever so this is my list book it's also um, a couple of other things. This is Annie's list insert. It just has, um, oops, that's wrong, bulleted lists here. And I am using this as a little insert to do thing for my shop, my charm shop. And I just put like to do's sometimes on a daily basis, ideas, etc. cetera. Um, it's great for that and yeah, I can put as little as many as I want. And then I just popped in here one of those little expenses sheets from Hurry Up and Plan that I got custom made a long time ago um, to keep track of the expenses for the shop because they're slightly outrageous. And this is a little bookmark that Annie made me and I am obsessed with it because I love everything that's got my name on it with gold foil, y'all. And I just put little post-it tabbies here because I think it's a really easy, quick way to have post-its and instead of like I used to put post-its on the back of my like books or something and that's fine but then I had to go digging for them whereas this bookmark is just in and out so I thought that was pretty pretty genius and I'm also not the first person to do that uh, this okay so that that's my shop insert then I'm using the second half of this Tomoe River paper book 
for my inspo. I used to have an entirely separate book for inspo. I actually called it Brain Dump. Um, this book, and it was in the back of my planner, and it is again a field notes notebook, and I love this book. Like it's, it's mostly filled out, and I love it, but it's too thick, and it doesn't take watercolor well, and. I just needed another space for more inserts because you can see I'm already bursting open and yeah I just I thought this was a good way to utilize this book to create two of my different well now three of my different areas into the one book so that's been good and then the back of this just has or just has a little verse that I want to put in it's just a little card that says take me away and I'm gonna put like the travel that I want to do and probably just tip that in right there um, this is a similar card but it has books so I was gonna put books that I want to read and I tipped that in and I just covered the back with this really pretty scrapbook paper this is another one of those sheet protector dashboards with another sticker from Annie um, I just replaced the washi. I tipped in, re uh, again, re-tipped in this little Maybook calendar. This um, is actually from my best friend, Annika. She, it's from my birthday card this year, and I just, she calls me Carolyn Berlin, and I call her Annika Harmonica, because we're super cool like that. And I just, I don't know, I had so much joy when I opened this present, because it came the day after my birthday, and yeah, I just... It was awesome. So I wanted to keep it to remember her. Plus, I just think it's funny and cute. This is the back of the Foxy Fix dashboard. I woo, I just have some post-its on there, stickers, and I mean, how cute is this this print? I'm obsessed with that. I'm really into black and white plus florals right now. I that's not new either. This is the back of that cute um, scrapbooking paper, and then I just put a picture of me and my two best guy friends in New York, Will and David. Okay, this is my second insert. How gorgeous is this paper? This is double-sided scrapbook paper. I think it's the Illustrated Faith brand, and I had bought it off scrapbook.com, so I just laminated it and made it a dashboard. How cute is the back of that? I'm super obsessed. I may have ordered some more. Um, inside here, I just have Annie's 18-month pullout, just kind of sort of tipped in there. And then I have my first... This insert's out of control, by the way. Let me just... Let me just... This dashboard section is that thick. So the first is the book you already know. It's the day on one page with the flap. Um, so I'm still using it, still obsessed with it. This is my day-to-day to-do list where I keep appointments. I put the flap over to kind of sort as a bookmark of sorts, but so I can easily refer. I'm failing all my goals this week, by the way, failing. like. Three times booty, no booty this week. Definitely have not cleaned my car. Definitely had all late, this is just a fail. But anyway, I'm still obsessed with this. I'm loving it. I love putting stickers all over these. It's so fun because I can still be super functional with my appointments and meetings and then also my other stuff. So, love it. This is another bookmark. This one is from my Paper Love Studio. And again, oh, somebody asked me about this on Instagram. This is just a post-it that actually went like this that Carrie gave me and I just cut it in half and then stuck it on here because then I can keep like to do's that I'm not sure when I'm going to do them like stuff I need to get done this weekend clearly I'm not cooking this week uh and then on the back I put some little post-its like I did with my other bookmark from Annie um as you can tell I'm just going a little sticker crazy now that I'm not using my happy planner I'm like okay all the stickers all the stickers in the Darcy all the stickers um yeah, so I'm still loving this. Um, I have not planned for next week. I think I might do a plan with me. I don't know. Would that be interesting to do a plan with me in this? I, I know Plan with Anna has done one. And now that you can use stickers in this, I just think it'd be super fun. Oh, I did not round these corners, and that is driving me crazy. Hold, please. Sorry, I know this is not what you want to see, but I don't know. Like, does anybody else just die if their corners aren't rounded? I kind of die a little bit. Okay, it's all good. Yeah, so I'm, I might film a plan with me. Let me know what you think. So I'm loving that. So that is my first calendar insert. My second one is also something I've had. It is the monthly like future planner. And this one is not pretty, y'all. This is for just marking when I'm out of town, um, when I have massages and other appointments that I book out really far in advance. My masseuse is very popular, hence why I've booked her out for the rest of the year. 
Um, so that is stuck in the middle. And the reason this sticks out so much is because it is shoved in between two other inserts that are connected by a band. So if you're not familiar with how to do this, uh, the Reset Girl, her Midori like 101 video shows you how to combine two books and then slip the whole thing under the elastic. But here, let me just show you. So, ugh. oh wait, I can't because of my bookmarks. So basically they're, kind of, they're shoved under this elastic and then I went and shoved this under the elastic as well. So it doesn't go in all the way and as such it sticks out. It's a problem. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Um, but I messed this all up. I do have a foxy wide in licorice coming. So I think that will help certainly, but I know I said I didn't want the big, the big book, but I don't, this is just, I can't live without any of this. Okay. This is my newest insert. The one that I teased about. Actually, I was teasing about this one. So this is my dilemma. Maybe you guys can help me. So Annie released these new verticals and these are like just vertical verticals. So this one is vertical on week on two pages. So you've got the whole week on two pages and then you've got the monthly. Um, and I, she first released these and I was like, awesome. And I printed them and I was like, I'm going to use this to track. Well, I was going to make this my wellness insert um, because I like devoting an entire insert to something that's really important to me. And by wellness, I mean like fitness, health, emotional health, all that other stuff. If you've ever, well, if you've ever seen some of my really older videos on this channel, I actually spoke a lot about mental health issues because it's really important to me. So anyway, I wanted to devote an insert to that. So there's that one. And then she also released this vertical week on four pages. And... It has a flap and you know how I feel about the flap. It's like out of control how I feel about the flap. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do and it doesn't have a monthly. So even though it is a little thicker, obviously, because it's a week on four pages versus a week on two pages, because it doesn't have the month, it's not that much thicker. And like, look at all the sticker potential. Also, I was thinking, well, okay, let's look at this. If I want to make this a wellness insert, there are a lot of things I can do here. Um, within the, I can put like the goals for the week here, or I don't know, the theme, I don't know, like it will probably change weekly depending on what I'm focusing on. And then I can separate the day into my different sections. So it can be like meditation, fitness, um, you know, meal plan, uh, you know, whatever. There's so many things, um, sleep, all that other stuff that I can track in here. And I think that if you're somebody who wants a million inserts in your book like I am, it's an interesting idea to devote an entire calendar insert to one particular area that you're focusing on. So if you are somebody who has like a full-time job in life, but also has like an Etsy shop, for example, like you can devote this to your Etsy shop. I know a lot of people have different notebooks for their different things, but if you don't want to go that far and you just want everything in one book, this is a way to do it. So I think I'm going to use, this starts next week. So I think I'm going to start by using this one, see how it goes. If it's too much space and I don't need it as much and I don't need another flap, like if I'm like, oh so many flaps although like I feel like I could put like good quotes in here or gratitude list because gratitude is so important for mental well-being see it's just so many options with the flap so yeah that's what this is I'm super excited about it Oop, this one is folded the wrong way and once again super easy to print and fold I refer to my other video and then again it's got some notes pages in the back um so that's the back of that insert and again, this is super chunkster because I've shoved in this monthly inside the middle here, but whatever. This is the back of the dashboard. I just have a clear um, Target pocket and some stickers, and I reattached this happy planner pen loop. 
I just ripped it off my other dashboard and reattached it and it works just fine. Back here I have my paper clip from Uni Ooh, Unicorn Planner which I'm obsessed with. It's like a crochet flower. And then I just put one of those snap pocket things here. And this is just pictures from my birthday. It's the bag I got which I'm going to do a what's in my bag video tomorrow. And then um, me from the day. This is a Midori Passport zip pouch and I just posted on my Instagram today that there is a pocket one supposedly available on a Etsy shop and go check out my Instagram it's I'm excited I think it'll work I it drives me insane that this is so much shorter because I'm like look at all that space potential anyway I just put in a little scrap of card um, picture and stickers my next insert is finances this is I think the same from last time um, another Annie cover and I printed this paycheck budgeting off of is it Wendiful Designs? Yeah, she has a bunch of free printables. They're not inserts because they don't go in like a book. But you can just print them and I just tipped it in right here. I don't know if I'm going to use it. It's very small writing space. So I just kind of like the way it looks. You know, it's like bits and bobs, adding tip-ins. This is a new expenses insert from Annie. And she just released this. She actually is a different color. This is like a prototype because I actually asked her if she could create an expenses one. I do have her bills one. Well, that's online purchases, but I do also have her bills one, which is like monthly bills, which is fabulous because you can write all the bills and then notes here. But this is different. This is kind of like tracking your expenses. And I honestly am not sure that's enough room for my expenses. But what I think I'm going to use this for is tracking like big expenses, like my fun spend or my travel spend or whatever it is, um, because it's important to keep track of those things. And I don't want this mixed in with my bills because my bills are obviously what I have to spend. This is more like what I choose to spend my money on. Stickers and stuff. So, yeah. So that's a new expenses insert. And then I have this online purchases insert. And in the middle, I have this order tracker from um, Marisa Bermucci. Um, and I will link everything below if I can. And um, that's just stuck in there. This is another situation, guys, where I have two books bound together and then slipped under and then I sneakily slipped this under the main elastic. It doesn't stick out as much though because these books aren't as thick but it's still outrageous. Um, so yeah my monthly bills the same this is the same just little credit card stickers and then I just redid the back of this with some cute scrapbooking paper and this card from Carrie. This is the back of the zip pouch and it holds all my Dear Lily design stencils which admittedly I'm not using as much now that I'm using all the stickers. However, I've decided that for my lists and inspo book, I am not allowed to use any stickers. It's all just watercolor and doodling and stencils because I really like using stencils. And then I can use all my stickers in this giant thing in the middle. This is my last um, insert. How cute is this dashboard? I'm so obsessed with this paper. Look at how outrageously thick. I'm stretching my elastic so bad. So this uh, is also double-sided. It's got little houses on that side. And then I just stuck in that um, Tim Holtz distressing card that I put. Back here I have an address book which contains the addresses of some of my planner friends for sending happy mail. Then I have another new little thing. This is Llama's Love Lettering. It is free on her website. Just Google Llama's Love Lettering. And it's just shrunken down to fit a pocket-sized traveler's notebook. And I have terrible handwriting. And I have terrible handwriting that's little enough to, to go in this book. So this is great for practice. And what I did, and I got this idea from... Trisha made with Lovecrafter and Jen, oh yeah it's Jen, is I just stuck in some tracing paper in here so that when I have some time I can just yank one of these out, pull it on here and just practice. Um, apparently that's the way to practice handwriting. I've yet to do it but I will. I will. I'm gonna do it. So yeah I just stuck in a few of those. Um, so cute. Here's like the little weather drawing tutorial um, and some other little holiday doodles, um, Christmas. Oh my god, I'm so excited for Christmas. We're not even close, but I am excited. So that's what that is, and that is just tucked in there as well. Then I have my little folder. This is so cute. It's from, I think, Cottage Something Designs. I will link it below. I've linked it in a previous video. I love this folder. 
it's not laminated, so it's not super thick, but it holds up just fine, especially when it's in an insert. It is a four pocket folder. Admittedly, I don't really use these pockets. I don't know why. I have a ton, a ton, a ton of stickers in here. I finally got a pocket size writing board because the passport one was driving me insane. And then this is the back of that dashboard and I have this cute sparkly unicorn clip, also from Unicorn Planner. I'm obsessed with it. And then on the back of this dashboard, I got this cute adhesive pocket from Michaels. It also, it comes in a pack with like pink and teal and blue, I think. And it also comes in separate packs of craft paper and gold and black and gold. I have the craft paper and gold as well. And it just sticks on there and it's great. And I like it because it's, it's exactly the width of basically um, a notebook for this size planner. And I just tucked in some stickers in there. I also have some back here, um, those page flags, some cute, funny canceled stickers, and another Coletto. And that is it. <laughs> so chunky. Uh, but I still love it. My sister's like, that thing gets bigger and bigger the more I use it, which, yeah. Here's my concern. My elastics are super stretched out. Like when I redid my notebook, I took out all my inserts and my elastics were like ridiculously stretched out. Now, I think it's fine. It's obviously to accommodate the heft that is my notebook, but I'm, I'm slightly concerned that I might screw it up. So I'm really excited to get my Foxy wide because I can give Darcy a break. I will still switch between the two of them, although obviously the um the Darcy is not gonna is gonna have some overhang, but I'm okay with that. I am really okay with that. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys like my new setup and I encourage you to go out and find some fun scrap of paper and redo your notebooks because it's just a fun, delightful surprise to open it. I mean look how pretty that is. To open it and get um see something new every week if you're me. Um I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.